Welcome everybody. We're going to talk today about the wrist movements and when we should use the wrist or we shouldn't use the wrist. I've heard about, you know, some players tell me, yeah, we shouldn't use the wrist because the wrist generates a lot of power into the shot. And that is true. But there are some shots and some game situations that if you don't use your wrist, it will be impossible to play that shot. I agree that we cannot use these wrist movements all the time because you know you get a great acceleration and then you lose a lot of control in the shot. But have a look and think about on these shots. The smash and any of its variations. The kick is smashed by three meters side fence. The smash by four meters back wall. You like this one, huh? Or also the flat power smash. Also, in a low volley, where beyond the technique, the player has to have a great hand to be able to handle this ball slowly and leave the ball down to the opponent. Also, when recovering the shot of the back wall, when the ball comes very low, I will tell you, if you don't use your wrist a little bit, you know, the wrist is a key in that shot. The possibility of playing with the wrist is that a great acceleration of the ball is achieved in a little spaces. Yeah, that will help you to solve those balls that are too low or too close to the back wall. You don't want to use the whole arm in a very short trajectory because you have no strength to get the ball back to the other field. Back wall boast. Boom. The wrist movement in this shot yeah, is, is crucial because you want to impact the ball from low to high. And also, in many cases, to be able to accelerate in a very small space in a very close to the back wall. If you don't use your wrist and you want to generate the same power yeah, with the stroke, you would smash the paddle butt against the back wall at the end of the shot. Hmm, better use your wrist because you, otherwise you would have to spend a lot of money in rackets. Also, when correcting the direction of the ball, yeah, when, when if you don't correct it with your, with your wrist, you will lose the point. This usually happens when the ball is coming off the back wall, where the ball is far behind, let's say that you could not anticipate the stroke, and so with the help of your wrist, you will be able to correct the change of the logical direction that the impacted ball would have taken from that position. Hide the stroke, yeah, hide the stroke and hide the, and change the direction of the ball. This has to be done by a little bit more advanced players, yeah, because think about that you are gonna change the direction at the last moment, a little bit with your wrist. Yeah, you're changing perhaps the acceleration and you're changing the direction of the ball. So this is a little bit more for advanced players, but it's a very good to bear in mind that we can also use it. This is actually a feature that differentiates and distinguishes some players from the rest. So let's say now that, you know, the, the wrist movement is not just to be practiced by, by the, the, the talented players or those who have a very good skills that they know how to anticipate that situation and use the wrist. This shot should be used and trained at every level in every paddle player in the world. This, if you think about, can be also trained by yourself. Yeah, there are some exercises that you can practice at home yeah, or before starting your match or your lesson, whatever, yeah, that will help you out a lot in terms of losing the afraid of using your wrist. Remember that we don't use our wrist for every shot. Yeah, remember we use it for some of the shots depending on the situation and depending on your level. Yeah, otherwise don't use it that much. Yeah, better to play sometimes a little bit flatter, start with a flatter shot and then you start moving your wrist a little bit to generate one situation or the other situation. And you will increase also your shot selection when you start also using you know, your wrist. But be careful because you know, it could become a little bit more dangerous. When you start using your wrist, you start taking decisions sometimes which are not the right one. Thank you very much for watching. This was another video coaching from Hello Paddle Academy. Guys, you rock.